Hi, this is Pastor Rick. It is almost 2017, and we have had quite a ride in 2016, would you say? I'm ready for a new year. I was thinking one of the things that people oftentimes do when it's a new year is they stop and take account of their life and they start thinking about what things do I want to change or do I need to change during this next year. And we always start out with all these, uh, uh, this wish list of things that we want to change and then uh, about a month or two later we've forgotten all about it and we really are back where we were before and we get discouraged because we haven't made enough progress. I'm going to make a suggestion to you. Two things. If you're a Christian, the best way to start your new year is with worship. You can come and join us and we would love to have you come join our church services. Uh, we meet every Sunday at 1040 a.m. We meet again at 5 p.m. and we meet Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And so I just want to encourage you to come and join us for worship. You will enjoy it and people will make you feel welcome. If you are looking to make a change in your life, the best way to start is, if you're a Christian, is to pray and ask God to show you what He would like to change in your life. It's always good. And um, ask Him for His help. You say, Lord, help me to accomplish these things and talk to God about it every day. You just say, God, this is my list. Make a list. Put it on your refrigerator or on your desk and look at it and begin working on those things. If you have a plan and you pray and ask God to help you to do the plan, a year from now, we're going to be saying, look what God did in my life or in your life uh, in 2017. And in 12 months, and they're going to go fast, it's coming. There is a scripture, though, that says if you're not a Christian, the only way you're really going to change is with God's help. That's, he's the one to change me and is still working on me. And I want to read a scripture. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. If you've been struggling to change your own life by yourself, I'm going to tell you that it's probably going to be disappointing because you and I don't do very well at changing ourselves. But if you have God working on you from the inside out, He can accomplish amazing transformation in your life. And a year from now, you could be absolutely looking back saying, I am so glad I gave my life to Christ and He is helping me to become a new person. And it's good, isn't it, to look back and see what has happened, positive things, positive changes, old habits are gone, new customs and behaviors are present. That's what I want to see for you in 2017. So here's what I would suggest we do. Why don't we stop and pray about this right now? Heavenly Father, I want to pray that for those who are Christians, that they could go to the Lord and just dedicate themselves anew and ask the Lord to help them to become everything that God wants them to become. For anyone who is watching right now and they're not really a believer in Jesus Christ, their greatest need right now, more than anything else in the world, is for them to give their life to Jesus Christ. And I want to pray that you'll reveal yourself to them. They'll know who you are and they'll be able to put their faith and trust in you and to stop trying to run their own life, let God be in control so that a year from now we can look back and say, look what God has done with this new believer. Look how much they have grown and accomplished with God's help. So I thank you for listening. I thank you for helping those who are watching and for helping me. And you know I need a lot of help. Thank you for that in Christ's name. Amen.